Once upon a time, there was a Zen master who lived in a small village in Papua New Guinea. He was a wise and kind man, and he was always willing to help others. One day, a group of villagers came to him with a problem. They had found a treasure trove of gold and diamonds in a cave, but they didn't know what to do with it. They were afraid that if they kept it, someone would steal it from them. They were also afraid that if they gave it away, they would be poor again. The Zen master listened to their problem, and then he said, The treasure is not yours. It belongs to the earth. You should return it to where you found it. The villagers were surprised. They had thought that the Zen master would tell them to keep the treasure or to give it away. But the Zen master knew that the treasure was not worth anything if it caused the villagers to worry or to be afraid. The villagers returned to the cave and put the treasure back where they had found it. They were relieved to be rid of it, and they were happy to know that it was safe. The Zen master continued to live in the village, and he continued to help others. He taught them that true worth is not found in material possessions. True worth is found in kindness, compassion, and wisdom. One day, a stranger came to the village. He was a wealthy man, and he was looking for the treasure that the villagers had found. He offered them a lot of money for it, but they refused. They told him that the treasure was not for sale. The stranger was angry. He thought that the villagers were greedy. He tried to steal the treasure, but he was unsuccessful. The villagers were able to protect the treasure, and they were able to live in peace. The Zen master was proud of the villagers. He knew that they had found true worth. They were not interested in material possessions. They were interested in helping others and in living a peaceful life. The stranger eventually gave up and left the village. The villagers never saw him again, but they never forgot the lesson that he had taught them. True worth is not found in material possessions. True worth is found in kindness, compassion, and wisdom. The Zen master continued to live in the village for many years. He continued to help others, and he continued to teach them about true worth. He died peacefully in his sleep at the age of 100. The villagers were sad to see him go, but they knew that he would always be with them in spirit. The Zen master's story is a reminder that true worth is not found in material possessions. True worth is found in kindness, compassion, and wisdom. If we focus on these things, we will find true happiness and fulfillment in life. Here are a few tips on how to find your true worth from a Zen master's perspective. Meditate. Meditation is a great way to quiet the mind and connect with your inner self. When you meditate, you can begin to see your true worth beyond the labels and expectations of others. Be present. The past is gone and the future is not yet here. The only thing that is real is the present moment. When you focus on the present moment, you can appreciate the beauty of life and all that it has to offer. Let go of expectations. When you let go of expectations, you can live a more carefree and fulfilling life. Don't worry about what others think of you or what you should or shouldn't be doing. Just be yourself and let your true worth shine through. Help others. One of the best ways to find your true worth is to help others. When you help others, you are not only making a difference in their lives, but you are also making a difference in your own. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself, even when you make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. It's how you learn and grow. Forgive yourself and move on. True worth is not something that is given to you by others. It is something that you discover within yourself. By following these tips, you can begin to uncover your true worth and live a more fulfilling life. Here are some additional tips that may be helpful. Take some time for self-reflection. Think about what you are good at, what you enjoy doing, and what makes you happy. What are your values? What are your goals? Talk to someone you trust. A friend, family member, therapist, or spiritual advisor can offer support and guidance as you explore your true worth. Don't be afraid to take risks. Stepping outside of your comfort zone can help you to grow and learn more about yourself. Celebrate your successes. No matter how small, take the time to acknowledge your accomplishments. This will help you to build self-confidence and self-worth. Finding your true worth is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, effort, and self-awareness. But it is a journey that is well worth taking.